Hey guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episode 11 of Pretty One Detective Club. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <clears throat> So now, are we going to meet that other girl that he was going against? Mm, damn. Well, at least you're in top three. Got the magic touch. <laughs> It'd be like that sometimes. You always be that one person who has like the best freaking hands. Well, she also looks like Sandra Hata a lot with the face and the hair. Well, more the hair than the face. Mmm. But why would it be fake though?
But there's got to be at least a camera around here or something, right? And plus, if she was on the phone, her friend would have heard it. Who knows? And it could be the reason why she faked her at her accident. Maybe she just doesn't want to come student council president anymore. But we don't really know. We don't have anything on that yet. The biggest thing is that they need to talk to her directly. So why would we, or why are we waiting until like the last episode to see him? Well, second to last episode. There's no wrong, there's nothing wrong with getting home. Why? Then what is it? Okay. But see, now the way he's talking about, you know, our le the leader's older brother, it, it makes it a little highly suspicious that it's something. Uh-oh. Well, like, the upper half of you is cute. Hmm. So then what's the problem between him and, you know, his younger brother? Oh god, he pretty. <laughs>
I mean, of course, because everyone's going to grow out of it eventually. If only we got to see that, except for little flashbacks, like, mm, we could have did a whole episode on that, like, but no. Or even a spinoff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're still at number three? No, you're at number two! Good job, baby! Mm-hmm. hmm I mean, because you really need to talk to her. So it's something that, you know, of course, the leader doesn't want to be like. He doesn't want to be boring. He still wants to have an exciting life. It felt like that, really. that twice poor baby hmm? why Mm -hmm. instead of being behind her yeah she would have been able to see it and move out of the way are we really doing that reference And she would move out of the way. Mm-hmm. 
But still, why would she want to do that, though? Exactly. How do you even start a conversation like that with them? They might not even believe you. Yes. <laughs> Basically. All I hear is my best girl, and I can't. I'm gonna cry. Because we need to know and there's something else complicated. Okay. Oh my god, this is so cute. I can't. Yeah, you do. <laughs> it just, it, cause see, it feels a little too suspicious. I don't know. It just feels too easy.
Hey, that car behind you? That car is getting fucking louder. Damn it. Oh! Shit. There is no- Who was in the car? You were able to see. Okay, okay, all right. God damn it. The one time that I wish we had, like, double episodes today, it would have been so much better to put the last two episodes today, but I hate the fact that, you know, I'm not going to be able to watch next week because I'll be on vacation and such. Oh, this is so good. But, like, okay. To see uh, Nagiwa, like, I love her. And she's voiced by one of my other favorite voice actors. So I was like, ah, like, yes, she's so precious. But, like, oh, the fact is because, like, while Naomi and Watson's face were walking, like, that car, I'm sitting here for a moment, I'm like, hold up, wait. And then, you know, you, you get a little quiet, and the car get a little closer and closer, and you hear the engine, and you like, oh, shit, she about to get hit. Like, oh, but the fact is that she was up in the air, she was able to see who the fuck it is, and, I'm, and it has to be dude who is still currently in the number one running, and such. I mean, something about that ain't right. Like, oh, God. And it would make the most sense for him to not have a license plate so that nothing gets traced to him. This motherfucker is fucking smart. Like, I mean, especially if you are somebody who is, like, trying to get rid of the competition and whoever is the closest to you on that ranking to be the next student council president, you're going to do everything in your power to knock down that fucking competition. But, like, holy shit, was not expecting. I, honestly, you know, at the same time, even though I wasn't, I kind of was expecting her to get hit because she is very close to winning this thing. She is in the number two spot, and she could literally, you know... Boink him down to second and her be up to first like nobody's fucking business. But at the same time, thank God somebody was with her because if she was by herself, none of the guys would have known about this. Also, um, Manabu's like fucking brother. Okay. He he is cute. Do not get me wrong. But it's just as everyone has said, like when you look at him and such, it's almost like the the emotionless of his face, it's not there anymore. He's just solid, like, no filter and such, like, almost resting bitch face, except because he, he makes no expression. Maybe he smiles, but that's it. And he, of course, his younger brother is too, uh, is afraid to be like that. I do like that. I think that's a very interesting comparison and how he is trying to kind of, um revolt or not be like everyone else because usually typically by the time you come you become an adult everything that you liked when you were a kid or even like a teenager you're not automatically going to like anymore and such you're gonna move on from it and so you just become a emotionless lifeless being that you know goes to either like work high school whatever for four years go to work or college for four years do work for the rest of your life and everything is just like constant moving no no having fun with family members yourself friends whoever and you're just always on the go and it's just like you care about nothing but work 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 and so I can see why his younger brother is just like, nah, I don't want to do that. But, like, just to see his older brother, like, happy and smiling in the flashback episodes, 
that was freaking good. I kind of wish that we got like a whole episode on that. Or, as I said, a spinoff, but who knows? I mean, I feel like, because the creator of the Monogatari series, something, they, they probably are currently doing this. I would love to see it, though. A spinoff novel of this episode specifically on his brother. I'm just saying, that would be really good. But other than that, guys, that was my reaction view towards episode 11 of Pretty Boy Detective Club. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially, unfortunately, not next Saturday, but either on Sunday. Because, like I said in my other videos from today going on into yesterday, I will officially be on vacation. I will be gone for a couple of days. I will be returning either like Sunday evening, evening, afternoon, so whatever. So I will either have this and everything else come out the day that I come back and work my ass off or everything else will come out Monday morning a couple of hours before Fruits Basket comes out. But until I, until next time, I don't even know what else I'm saying, but other than that, I will see you guys officially all next time for the final episode. Bye, guys.